Welcome to lesson 19 of web design. In this lesson, we are going to go over lists. There are two types of lists that we get. We get unordered list and ordered lists. Another name for an unordered list is called a bulleted list. The tag for an unordered list is less than sign UL, which stands for unordered list, greater than sign, that is the opening tag, and the closing tag is less than sign, forward slash UL, which stands for unordered list, and greater than sign. This is the closing tag. Between the opening and closing tags of the unordered list, we must have a list item. For the list item tags, it is a less than sign, li which stands for list item greater than sign which is the opening tag and less than sign forward slash li which stands for list item greater than sign which is the closing tag let's look at this example so we have an unordered list which is also known as a bulleted list opening tag list item potatoes closing I uh, closing tag for list item onions as well as tomatoes and lettuce between the opening and closing tags of the list items and then eventually we close the unordered list tag by having the unordered list tag. Let us look further. Now remember that we said that an unordered list is also called a bulleted list. So we get different types of bullets. In order for us to use the different types of bullets, we use the type attribute in the opening tag of the unordered list. So we have less than sign UL, which stands for unordered list, type equals disk. For this particular attribute, if we have the value to be disk, then we will have solid circles. For type equals circle, we have open circles, and for type equals square, we have solid squares. Let us look at our examples that we can go over. Here I have a program to demonstrate bulleted or unordered list. Note I have an unordered list opening tag and its corresponding closing tag, and in between these I have four list items, onions, potatoes, lettuce, and tomatoes. And remember, the, these all, all the list items are between opening and closing tags of the list items. So when I run this program, and the first part of it, by default, the bullet is a solid circle. And we have onions, potatoes, lettuce, and tomatoes. Closing this, going back to my program, and let's look at the bullets that we can get. Firstly, our disk, if we use the type attribute equals disk, that is a disk bullet. The second one is type equals circle, the circle bullet. That's an open circle. And the last one is type equals square. So we're going to look at your several bullets, run the program again, and if you look at our output, there we have our three different bullets. Your squares, your circles, and your disks.